Yo, what's up? It's SRT and you're watching The Bike Show. This is the weekly series where we check out some of your amazing bike builds that you have submitted to the email address that's down in the description and on the screen right now. Make sure you send it in to the email address smtbikeshow at gmail.com and not to my Instagram account. And if you have not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, join the squad on the road to 10,000 subscribers. But now, sit back, relax, enjoy the show, and at the end, let me know in the comment section down below which bike was your favorite. First up today, we have a crazy 1984 Honda MT50 build from the Netherlands. He got this moped from his dad, and he wanted to turn it into something amazing, so he completely rebuilt this bike and made it into this insane moped it is today. Apart from the good looks on this bike, he also has a 80cc engine swap from a Honda MT8. If that was not enough, he also has a 131cc big bore kit on top of that 80cc engine. So this bike is insanely fast and powerful. Some of the things in this engine build include the Athena 131cc big bore kit, Prox aftermarket crankshaft, 34mm keen carburetor, V-Force 3 reed valve, Proma 125 exhaust, HPI inner rotor ignition, and the clutch and gearbox is from a CR85. And now you might be wondering, how much power does this thing put down? How much power does this crazy moped make? Well, let me tell you, because this guy put it on the dyno and it made a crazy 27 rear wheel horsepower. 27 rear wheel horsepower in a moped that's built for like 2 horsepower. And he also got a top speed of 145 km an hour on the dyno. And since this bike is nowhere close to being able to support this much power, he also added a lot of parts to support that. And some of those parts include super motor wheels, forks and brakes from a derby DRD, and also a extended derby Senda swing arm to really be able to ride with this much power in that old chassis. It's a beautiful and really well executed bike. I really like everything about it from this crazy insane engine swap build that you got on this thing with 131cc put, putting down 27 rear wheel horsepower. Then you got the derby parts to support the power. You got that beautiful paint job on there with the blue metallic. You got the number plate. It's definitely a one of a kind moped. I've never seen this before and I don't think I'm gonna see anything like it in the future either. It's an absolute beauty. Thank you so much for starting off the show with this beast. And the only way to follow up that crazy Honda is of course with a crazy Finnish moped tuning build. And this time we have a 140cc monkey build. There's a lot of things done to this bike and some of those things include a set of 310mm rear shocks, new front fender, low profile tires, polish the rims, brake reservoir cap and some bolts etc. AK-47 sticker on the fuel tank, low profile handlebar, ASV levers, KTM Domino quick action throttle and BMX pegs to really finish this bike up. Pretty much everything that's painted on this bike is powder coated from what I understand. And now moving on to the engine setup. This bike has a 140cc YX engine, Z40 camshaft, NPR oval exhaust, O-Racing Bolt CDI with a adjustable rev limiter and a 30mm carburetor which he says is too big but that is what's on there right now. It's always fun to see this monkey build like for someone who lives outside of Finland this is not your average moped and it's always fun to see it's like an old school moped looks really cool you usually have a big engine swap in there this time it was 140cc Also, it has that old classic car vibe. You can do stuff like metallic paint jobs, polish the rims, all that kind of cool stuff, adding like underglow and stuff. It just gives it like a nice look. So these bikes are really cool to see. It's definitely something unique in the moped space. And it's definitely one of my favorite type of builds that are not like a fully supermoto builds like that. Everything from the paint job to the AK-47 stickers to the wheels, everything on this bike looks insane. So thank you so much for sending it in to the show. Now we have another Finnish mini moped tuning build. This is a 80cc Suzuki PV 
and this transformation on this bike is insane. This is one of those builds you can really appreciate the work and time and effort he has put into this bike. Like this bike, before he started working on it, it looks like this bike belongs on the bottom of a lake. It's just like he went fishing, you know, he's like out fishing in a lake, you know, Finnish people fish, you know. You fish in a lake, you get like traffic, get a fish, you know, for dinner, and you get like a Suzuki PV that's rusted out and just completely destroyed because it's been chilling on the lake bed for like 10 years. And like, yo, what the hell do I do with this PV? It's probably stolen and shit. I don't know, I just rebuild it. Okay, that's probably not at all what happened, but definitely looks like it belonged on the lake floor. <laughs> he has gone out fishing, he's fished up a freaking PV50, you know what I mean? He thought he got a big fish and he got like a moped. Imagine though, that would be a crazy, that would be a crazy story though. If he went fishing and he got a Suzuki PV and then he rebuilt it to this beast. But yeah, that's, that's definitely not what happened, but it definitely looks like it could have been that what happened, you know what I mean? But yeah, well, anyway, so he completely rebuilt this bike and gave it a huge updated look and also a pretty nice engine upgrade. He went for a clean black and chrome color scheme, which looks really good. And he also added a few details with those stage six stickers, which really gives it a nice contrast and really blends into this bike. Even though he does not have any stage six parts, I think it still fits this bike really well. And he gave it a little bit more detail and personality, which is always really nice to see. And in, in the engine, he also has a few performance parts, including a Malossi 80cc cylinder, 19mm carburetor, Gianelli exhaust and a Malossi intake and air filter combo. It's a pretty simple but yet impressive build, especially if you take a look at the transformation, that's where the most of this work has gone into. And definitely like this one of those builds like I don't know it's just such a crazy build like taken from that rusty piece of shit that was in the beginning to this beautiful Suzuki PV it is today. You did a fantastic job with this bike and this is why it's always fun to see the before pictures because we see a before picture compared to the after you're like damn what the hell happened here like you did a great job with this bike. Looks really cool and I bet it's a lot of fun to ride as well. Thank you so much for sending it in to the show. Next up, we have another monkey build from Finland, of course. So this one started out as a pretty boring blackout moped that he bought for sheep. And he kept it like that for a while. But then his friend looped it doing a wheelie. You know, he pulled up a wheelie and he didn't know what to do. He just looped it, crashed it and broke fuel tank and front fender. So he thought, why not do a full rebuild on this bike and make it look amazing and really cool and just make it my own bike so that's exactly what he did and he completely rebuilt the bike from the ground up doing a lot of stuff to this bike and some of those things include painting the fuel tank in a metallic dark blue color and the frame in a nice clean white color extended the swing arm with plus 10 i'm sure that extended the swing arm 10 centimeters maybe 10 millimeters i'm not too sure let me know in the comment section down below but yeah eight hole rims with hiandu tires 72cc cylinder with 85cc cylinder head, diamond headlight, a set of upside down forks from a mini dirt bike, and some blue LED underglow, which looks really good on monkey builds. Like, underglow on monkey builds is like match made in heaven. It always looks so cool to have underglow under the tank just shining down on the engine and the floor. Always a good idea when you have a monkey bike. It made for a really good transformation. I really like the color theme you went for. And everything on this bike it just looks so good and you kept that clean minimalistic but still really cool theme on the bike and kept it like looking like a monkey bike but still you put your own touch on it you made it really cool and clean you did a great job with this bike thank you so much for sending it in to the show last bike of the day is a clean yamaha dt50 liquid cooled moped this is not one of those crazy builds, but it's a really clean build and I still think we can appreciate this build and the work he has put into it. This is his first moped, so he bought it in really worn out condition and then he ended up doing some work to it and making it look super nice again. And some of those things he did to this bike include painting the frame and swing arm, red radiator tubes, smaller mirrors, Pro taper grips, a new seat cover, red spoke skins, Doppler piston, and a brand new firebox exhaust, which looks so mint on this bike. I think this was a nice transformation. It did a lot to the bike without doing too much to the bike, if that makes sense. Painting the frame and getting that chrome exhaust was definitely a good idea. There is still a few things this guy wants to do to this bike, including getting a new fuel tank, new plastics, and a smaller plate and license plate 
holder. The license plate holder is usually a make or break point on a bike. It didn't look too bad on this bike, but it would be really nice if you got like a super slim license plate holder and then got some fresh plastics and stuff like that to make it really yours and make it amazing. But still, this is a really nice and clean transformation and a nice contrast to all these crazy, super powerful engine builds that we have seen earlier today. Just come over to this clean transformation rebuild of this, of this Yamaha DT50. You did a great job with this bike. Thank you so much for sending it in to the show. But that was the five amazing bikes from this week's bike show. And if you have not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Join the squad on the road to 10 thousand subscribers and if you have not already make sure you let me know in the comment section down below which bike was your favorite but that is it for this video thank you so much for watching until next time stay awesome be positive it's been boys and tea and i'll see you in the next one